to set up a blog post, do a little customization to it, and to get a photo on there. And then I'll just show you a few couple tricks about SEO um, that you might want to do, just the very, very basics. So we'll just go over that because this is mostly um, about just getting that blog post on there and set up on your website and get it out there to your people. Okay, let's go on here and we will go to my dashboard. Okay, so we're inside my WordPress dashboard. And the first thing you're going to do, you can go up here and click the plus new sign, and we're going to click and add a post. And for this simple training today, we're just going to call it test post for, um, oh, well, I wonder what happened with my connection there. Okay, there we go. All is good. Oh, don't you love technology? Got to roll with the punches. That's what it's all about. Okay, so let's call this blog because I am going to write a blog post to go along with this video so that I can share it with more people. So blog posting 101, how to get your post into uh, how to write your first okay so let's just type some uh, this is a short training um, article for those oh I can't see this very well you who Who want to be able to write and post on your WordPress site? Okay, so um, let's just see. Here is watch the video here. And then I'll put the video once it's all done, all embedded in here. I'm not going to show you that right now. Um, it's actually pretty easy. All you've got to do is just go over and grab the embed code from YouTube and then go over to the text side and just copy and paste it. Um, and then we're going to do here are the step by step instructions uh, to write your first post on your blog and then I'll just probably one and two okay so then I'm going to fill this all in and then I'm actually going to create a handout to go with this blog post um, video so if you're over on YouTube and you're watching this you're going to want to go over to my website and read the whole um, article and grab that free um, it's just a little screenshot and it's like the step-by-step -step, so you can have that and I've even put the link to this um, video in it for you so you've got everything right there you, you can have the step-by-step -step instructions and you'll um, can go back and watch the video again so here is the link to download the uh, step by step instructions. Okay, and then we'll have them to another, take them to another page. So basically, um, if you want to, now I've got you know the outlines, and you're going to want to go in and um, do a lot of other things to your blog post until it's all done. And what I always suggest is that you save a draft as you go. Because you don't want to lose your hard work, okay? You'll see this little red light here. I'm going to tell you about that all in a few minutes. Now, when you're one thing you want to do is you want to um, make sure that you put it under one of your categories. So I'm going to put this under WordPress just because this is about WordPress. And then you may or may not have tags that you use. 
you'll see I usually just pick from my most used tags which would be like things about you and your business that people would um, it just helps it you know for where you know things you want to be known for okay um, and then if you wanted to add a new category you could add that here okay so now let's talk a little bit about formatting okay so there's a couple different things you can do in here um, you can format and this is a lot like word and one thing I want to just point out here is if you're copying and pasting from word you're gonna want to use the paste the paste as word I think I have that turned off over here but you're gonna want to either type it all in here or strip all the coding out of it otherwise you're gonna end up with some funky um, formatting in here and then it's gonna be like oh my gosh what have I done I gotta go over here and clean up my uh, HTML and the average person doesn't really want to be do messing with that okay so let's talk about formatting um, there's all these different headers that are set up in here and this is what you use to format your subheading so in this case I'm gonna make it um, subheading 2 and then I usually like to use Helvetica and to make it bold now you can just I'll just show you what this looks like takes a minute preview to pop up but it is good to you know look at so here you see there's the video it's all beautiful using my h1 that was set up when I did my WordPress site um, and then you can do all these different things if you don't have tiny MCE set up as a plugin you'll want to do that because it gives you a lot more options for writing your um, uh, for actually for um, editing and making it look pretty now here's the how you uh, set up a uh, picture so you click put your cursor where you want it let me just go back and show you I put my cursor right here because I want it right here I generally like to put them either a thumbnail right here next to the first um, sentence or actually these days I really like to do a full size um, picture at the top because that's what I use to put my articles out on Pinterest and you can see some of the ones I have in here and I'll just show you what they look like um let's just pick any old one that I have in here it's not necessarily going to match what this post is all about because I don't have one set up in here but let's just pick any old one I have this one that I do it's called the weekly roundup and I'm gonna put it align it in the center and let's pop it in there and then you'll see it come up I'll take a minute and there it is kind of cool so when you um, and I would save it and then I'm going to show you what it looks like now one thing I also suggest you might want to do is and it just depends on what template your WordPress site is set up with I usually um, disable the top headline anyways you'll see because before it had the title of the post right on the page and I just find that redundant you don't necessarily it's just your preference okay so let's go back over and see there you go cool and you'll see a, here it is published in WordPress here's my tags and here is my post okay so let's go back and do a couple more things that I want you to think about when you're doing it so let's go down here and I have this plugin and it's if you're working with me you also have SEO by Yoast plugged in and what you want to do here is you want to pay attention to this um, this little part here the snippet preview that's what's going to show up when somebody um, Google's and it shows up in the Google search so you're going to want to um, put your focused keyword in there and in my case I like to use long tail keywords just because um, people will it, it's easier to rank higher and that's not really part of this training but that's what I like to use so how to write your first post okay 
Now, we we'll probably want to go down here and this title page URL, you want to go back up here, go right into this little thing here and put it in there. Type, put your focus keyword right, little long tail keyword, put it right in there. Now I'm going to show you, go back here and show you one thing. It's not showing up in there because I need to save the draft. Sometimes these things, what we want to do here is we really want to get this little red button as close as possible to green. But I don't really want you spending a ton of time on it. Um, you're just going to want to write the article naturally. Now you see it's in the page URL. Okay, it is um, in the page title. I don't know why it's not doing that. So the next thing I want you to do is go down here to this little meta description. That's going to change that gray writing right down there underneath the um, snippet preview. So uh, do you know how to write your first post? If not, here's the step-by-step -step instructions to help you get started. So you want to do is you want to just write a little thing in there that tells people what your article is about, okay? So those are like the two main things that I want you to do. And I don't really want you to get overly concerned about getting that red to green. Um, the next thing you probably would want to do is get your how to write your first blog post. That's my um, keywords into your article. But what I suggest here is write your article first and then go back and put your keywords into your article because you don't want to just be writing for keywords. It's more natural to do it that way. Okay, so now let's save the draft. I'm going to show you a couple little other tricks here. I'm going to show you how to um, schedule it. You can do one of two things. You can either click the publish immediately, or you can edit this, and you can say, okay, uh, let's see, today's April 23rd. I want this to post on April 25th. And then I want it to post at eight o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I'm just going to change the time and we're going to click OK and then schedule. And there you go. That's how you write and schedule your first blog post. So I hope you found this little training to be helpful, and um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. I'm happy to help.